happy, happy, happy Monday! And welcome to Food for the Soul! These are bite-sized reflections of our daily readings from Mondays to Saturday. Are you all ready for a reading for today? Of course you should be! This is the second day of August. So yeah, I hope that you are all excited. Our reading for today comes from Matthew 13, Matthew 14, 13 to 21. And you know, this is one of my favorite um, verses in the Bible because this is the, the, the verse where Jesus, He did not only show us what he felt and what he experienced but he also showed us the greatest miracle there is and that's feeding 5,000 men amazing right so I, I i'm very much excited because during the first part he heard something he knew of a news he heard something that is quite unusual for him to hear and when he heard this news he felt sad, so sad that he wanted to be alone. He left to a boat. He wanted to be alone and he wanted to pray. Were there moments like this in your life? You know, two weeks ago, my I was in a bliss. I had an experience that I did not even expect. I was in a bliss because I didn't know what to do. I didn't even know or understood what was happening right in front of me. And as I, as I was in discussion with my mom, with my nanai, I hurriedly went down to, to uh, where my wife was and I gave my wife the phone because I couldn't speak anymore. And you know what was that time? That was the time when we knew that my father, who was in Indonesia at that moment, was COVID positive. During that time, I felt so sad. I felt so scared. There were, there were a lot of doubts in my heart. And I was crying the whole time, especially when, we, when my wife and I were praying at the end of that day. I was crying and I was telling God, Lord, take care of everything. Right after our rosary, I felt calmness. I felt peace. And, you know, oftentimes we forget that Jesus too, he had that experience when he knew that news. And you know what that news was? His cousin, John the Baptist, is dead. He felt so sad. He was shaken. And the only thing he could do was to go disconnect first with the people and connect with his father, connect with God. And I forgot, or we forget at times, just that Jesus knows what we feel, what we are feeling. When you're sad, when you're, when you're in doubt, when you're in fear, Jesus knows that feeling because He experienced it too. And He was there. Jesus is there. He felt that, that kind of feeling too. And because He felt that feeling, Jesus will never want you because of his so much love for you, he wouldn't want you to stay in that situation. Jesus, he understands our feelings. And because he understands, he will make sure that he will pull us out of that situation and he will give us peace. And so today, <laughs> I'll be giving you three things of how we can make ourselves a little better when we are experiencing sadness in our hearts. Are you ready? Okay, number one. Number one is to always make sure that even if you're experiencing negativity in your life, you have to pull away and focus on the positive. When life is a challenge, it, it, it can seem as though nothing, nothing is going right, Overgeneralizing things, oh, sorry, again, I will say that. Overgeneralizing things is something people would always tend to do. I tend to do that at times. And because of that, we look through the negative lenses. But today, the very first thing that we can always do is to make sure that we focus on the positive. If, if there, and the truth is, you know, there is still a lot of great things that's happening in your life. 
you still have a roof, you have something to eat, you know, you, you, you are doing so much better than many people in the world. If you have friends and family members who care about you, that's something to really be thankful for. If, um, if you have a job, if you're still receiving compensation, if you have an income, that's still a blessing. So what you can do is to write down, make a list of everything that's going right in your life. Instead of focusing on the negativity, list down everything that's going right in your life. Your job, your food, your shelter, your clothing, your loved ones, your vehicle, or your health. You're healthy. These, are, this, this positive can be as, as little as, or as big. But the important thing is you count your blessings. You count the positives in your life. Number two that you can do when you are sad or when you're, you're afraid or when you're in doubt, ask a friend to help. It's always so much better to journey or, or to journey your situation if there is someone who can help you. Friends are there for you when life gets difficult. They help you remember why you are a great person, why you are a special person, and why God loves you despite of everything else that's happening in your life. Friends will always be there. So, ask them. Ask them for help. Ask a friend to go out with you or, or maybe have a Zoom call with you or maybe have a chat with you or invite a friend and, and, and you know talk to them. Just pour out, especially the friend that you trust the most. Talk to someone. If you're not feeling good, talk to someone. Okay? Call a friend to talk about um, ways of how you can get through it because a friend that you trust the most will always be there. Lastly, lastly, do whatever makes you happy. You know, when you are down in the dumps, the last thing you'd probably want to be is to be active or to move around because especially when you're down or when you're feeling negativity, most of us will just slack, you know, sleep or, or just lie in the bed all throughout the day. But please, get out of the bed and do the things that makes you smile and do the things that makes you happy. Spend time with friends through Zoom, you know, because we can go out at this time, but Spend time with friends, talk to your friends, take a bath, have a mug of a hot chocolate because it makes me smile and happy, you know, or, or eat the food that you want, you know. I wanted to eat um, a pizza, uh, spaghetti, lechon, you know. <laughs> eat something that may, will make you ha happy or cuddle or play with your pet, right? Or engage in a hobby that you enjoy or maybe you can even find a new hobby or... Here's the best thing. Help other people. When you are not happy and when you're sad at times, helping other people will really help you. So three things. Number one is to still focus on positivity. Number two, ask a friend to help. And number three, do something that makes you smile and make you happy. Friends, it's okay to not be okay, but don't stay there. Do something about it. Ask God for help. Okay, so let's pray today. Let's come before God. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we thank you for today. Thank you, Lord God, for reminding us that you understand us. You understand what we feel. You understand whatever situation we are in at times. And because you understand us, we know, Lord God, that you won't allow us to stay there. You will pull us out of whatever negative and whatever bad situation we are in because that's how you are. That's how of a God you are. You're a good God. You're a great God. You're a loving God. You're a generous God. And we continue to pray that you journey with us all throughout this week so that we can continue to experience your grace and your mercy. All these things we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters, for joining me today. And of course, if this video was able to help you, please, 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 don't forget to share. Share this video to your friends, to, to a friend who need this at this time, to, to someone, to people whom you think might need this video. Share this video to them. And of course, don't forget, do not forget to please like and uh, share and comment. No, Like our social media pages. We have Feast Ortigas District Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Again, Feast Ortigas District Facebook, Instagram, 
and YouTube. Okay? And lastly, there is an email on your screen right now. You can send us your prayer request so we can all pray for you. Amen? Amen! And remember, you might be experiencing a bad day, but you can always choose to be happy. You can always choose to be with God. You can always choose to experience His miracles every day. God bless everyone. Have a great week ahead. Bye! years na po akong nandito sa Jeremiah Foundation. Noong una akong napunta dito sa Jeremiah, isa po sa naramdaman ko yung hindi ko alam kung paano may kisama sa kanina dahil sa paguhan pa lang ako. Nung tumagal na po ako dito, naging ano naman po ako sa kanila. Comfortable yung kasama, ganon. Hindi naman din po mahirap. Sa loob po ng dalawang taon, siguro po yung mga nagbago sa akin is yung tutukan po yung pag-aaral ko. Unti-unti po sumunod sa mga nakakatanda sa akin at yung hindi na po sasagot. Yung gusto ko lang pong sabihin sa mga taong gusto pa pong tumulong sa Jeremiah pag lang po kayong mahiya dahil anytime naman po pwede naman po kayong tumawag to or gusto nyo pong mag outreach sa amin. Thank you din po sa mga nagbibigay po sa amin ng love. Hindi lang po sa mga ibang tao kundi po yung sa mga gusto po pong pumunta sa amin. Thank you for the love po. Music